I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're comparing winter tires to all season tires. So we're at the launch of the Continental Viking Contact 7 Winter Tire. Continental is our sponsor for this year and we are so happy to have them on board. We are at iCar Racetrack just outside of Montreal and they have just given us some cars to just drift around in, have some fun and actually just do some real tests. So don't forget to subscribe because Continental is going to be having some contests with us this year to give away some free tires. Free tires! Oh and hit the notification bell as well so that you get a notification every Tuesday and Friday when we post a video at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. And yo, spoiler alert, these tires are really wicked. Yeah they are. Drift transition and explain the day. So they have given us two identical Cadillac XTSs. One is is equipped with Continental Viking Contact 7 winter tires and the other is on all season tires. So we are comparing the performance of both for braking, acceleration and just some fun drifting as well. Yes, because we want you guys to drive with winter tires on the road in winter because it's safer and it's more fun. You have way more control with winter tires, like way more and it's just better overall. Like a better braking distance and everything. So here's our tests. We're going to start with the braking distance test to see how much more room you have stopping with winter tires compared to all seasons. Then we're gonna do an acceleration test, shorter and longer, flat out with traction control on to simulate real world conditions. And just a reminder, the black ones got winter tires and the white ones got all seasons. Very good all seasons, I might add though. By the way, all seasons should really be considered three seasons. Yes, because they're not all weather tires. Exactly. And then we wanna see how the winter tires handle versus the all seasons. So we're gonna throw it through a little slalom course, see how one handles versus the other. And then we're gonna do a little understeer test. So how fast can we actually drive around the corner before the car starts to plow towards the outside, simulating a potential crash in an intersection or a left turn. And we're also gonna be drifting throughout the whole time and maybe some Subaru rally drifting. Maybe? For sure. <laughs> Cut to the clip. Let's start with the braking. How did the all seasons do compared to the winters? So we did the test at two different speeds, 50 kilometers per hour and 65 kilometers per hour. So from 50 kilometers per hour, there was a difference of about five feet where the winter tires stopped shorter than the all season tires. From 65 kilometers per hour, there was a way bigger difference in the stopping distance. We had about 27 feet shorter in the winter tires versus the all season tires. Huge difference of only 15 kilometers more. That should be the biggest reason for you guys to get winter tires. Like imagine if a little kid ran out or something. Yeah, you can't stop in time. And a little drift transition to you. And into my drift transition, Yuri, what was the second test that we did? We did a drag race. We went from a shorter distance and a longer distance to see what difference it really made. So both cars had traction control on, again, to simulate real world condition so that the tires made all the difference. What I found was the all season tires kept up pretty all right, but once you got up to speed, I felt so sketchy in that. Yeah, because you eventually had to stop. Yeah, and it's like, oh my God, if anything happens, I'm done. Yeah, pretty much. How did you feel in the black one with the VC7s? Oh, the Viking Contact 7s? Yeah. Don't, don't call them VC7s. VC7s is a cool name for them. Anyways, I had way more confidence in those, like no issues with those. Traction right off the line, they're great. Oh, and by the way, we actually have the previous generation of this tire on our personal cars, which is the Winter Contact SI. So these tires now replace those. Yes, and the reason they're called Viking Contact 7 was because there was a Viking Contact 6 in Europe before, Yeah. But we're getting it now. Exactly. And on that note, Here's a couple words from the engineer of that tire. Yeah, he's way more technical than we are. I'm joined with Timur and he is one of the developers of this tire. Timur, tell me when you switched to winter tires, at what temperature, and what are your favorite features about this new tire? Yes, uh, I will do with pleasure. So basically the Viking Contact 7 is our brand new soft compound flagship tire line, um, which is designed for the specific needs of the markets in these Nordic conditions as we have them here in Canada. I would recommend to switch over to winter tires after a temperature of 7 degrees Celsius, because the um, brittleness of the compound uh, will decrease significantly after this point. Features of the compound, um, which lead to its superior winter performances are related to the compound on the one hand and to different pattern features on the other hand. So the compound itself is developed in that way that it performs best at very low temperatures, service conditions of minus 20, minus 30 and less degrees. So the pattern itself contains different features leading to a high ice as well as snow performance. As you can see here, for example, we have the snow edges on the trailing and leading edge of the shoulder blocks, which provide a high milling effect to the snow. 
the sipes itself are created in a sinusoidal way which brings different advantages. The main advantage of sinusoidal sipes is that beside only traction and braking properties is that you can create also lateral side force buildup. Another important feature of this tire of the pattern are the so-called interlocking bridges. As you can see here in between of the rubber blocks we have inserted um, rubber elements in the sub depths of the pattern providing a high structural stiffness to the pattern leading to good um, handling performances. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and before we talk about the third test, Subaru rally car test on general tires, studded tires. good too but straight pipes exhaust that's what I'm talking about the straight pipes <laughs> about 450 horsepower and studded tires here we go hold this hold it yes swing it right around Woo! <laughs> oh this is the best all right Woo. Okay, back to the Cadillacs, I guess. So now we move on to the slalom. Okay, so we wanted to see how the cars performed in regular handling conditions. We wanted to take the slalom as fast as possible without hitting a cone. And there was a huge difference between both of them. So towards the end, the all-season tire just started to lose grip. You had to slow way down in comparison to the Viking Contact 7. Yeah, Viking Contact 7 kept you going right through where the other one, like it was the second last cone. Yeah. So you started it, plowing towards it if you're going a little too fast. Exactly. So you started to understeer. So then because of that test, we wanted to do another test. We wanted to see how fast you can get around a turn without plowing on both tires. So we wanted to do max speed without understeer just to simulate real world conditions on a left turn. And obviously the winter tire did much better. Yeah, way better. So I was able to maintain a speed of about 25 kilometers per hour, no problem with the Viking Contact 7s. When I tried that same speed in the all seasons, not so good. Yeah, it like really plowed. Imagine if you're in an intersection doing that. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, Get winter tires for snow. We've always had winter tires on our personal cars, always. Yes. I've never owned a car without winter tires. Since my first Camaro, I had winter tires. My first car was a Ford Escort. I had winter tires for it. Then I bought myself a Subaru WRX. Also had winter tires for it. Drift brake again. Yuri, yep. kind of tired of driving normally. Just gonna go for a little drift in this. Here we go and so much grip from the front end. So the biggest thing I noticed driving this around versus the all seasons is this has so much grip on the front end. VC7s are killing it. So with the all seasons, I basically plow all the way out, understeer, and then find some grip. So the biggest difference with these tires that I have noticed is the ice performance because this is a very slick track and it is just sheer ice underneath the snow. So the all seasons just start to lose grip and understeer, whereas the Viking Contact 7s, I still have grip on the ice, which is amazing for non-studded tires. When we started driving today, before it got even slicker, it felt like you were driving on a normal road. Yeah, it did. Like it didn't feel gimmicky at all. I know, it was amazing. And by the way, all the tests we set up today, we set up ourselves. There was no one here to tell us what to do, how to do it, what's gonna work better to show anything off. It was all us. All we asked them for was cones. We set everything up ourselves. We just wanted to prove a point. We already knew the facts, but yeah. we just wanted to prove it on camera that winter tires are so much better than all season tires. So let us know if you're a winter tire person or not, and tell us why you're not a winter tire person, because you should be if you're driving in snow. I look forward to all the comments from everybody that's wrong, telling yeah. me that they're not winter tire people. Oh, I got a heavy car that's front wheel drive, so I should be fine with these summers. That's a myth. Wrong. You Subaru people, I'm looking at you. Oh, I don't need winter tires. I got all wheel drive. Nah, you still can't stop. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out Continental Tires if you're getting some new tires this year. Or General Tires, because Continental also owns General Tires. And General Tires is more off-roady. Exactly. And patreon.com slash straight pipes and teespring. I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. Break. Don't forget subscribe. to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. We didn't even, we didn't do that.